We're now ready to rig our English Reef system or our moving control point onto our track lines. You're going to need a Kootenai carriage to accommodate all of the rigging elements that are going to go into this system. You're also going to need attachment points to accommodate the lower haul system and the belay attachments. We'll go ahead and rig this. The first item I'm going to connect to the kit A is going to be my belay line. As I said before, we're using a single belay line to accommodate belay operations on both sides. So we need to create two stop points with two redundant progress capture devices. So I'm going to use midline knots, butterflies or eights, attach them in, and then attach prusiks from the carabiner, tensioning the system so that the load is not on the knot but is on the prusik. Our final element to rig into this is going to be our lower haul operation. And at this juncture, our rescuer should be ready to rig in. So before we engage with this component, we need to do a full system check, ensure that all of our safety systems are in place, everything's locked, and that everything's operational and tensioned appropriately. Once you get feedback from both sides that we're ready to go operational, then we can go ahead and rig in the rescuer. You can see we've assembled three prusiks to the base of a master attachment point. It can be a steel ring or a small rigging plate clipped into the Kootenai. The easiest way to do this is to disassemble the middle one and rig it onto the lower haul line. That pulley should then be clipped to the rescuer. From that point now, we can pull a little bit of tension up Connect into the top directional on the right. And then repeat that process with the top directional on the left. Keep in mind that this pre-rigging is done away from the edge in the safe zone. If you don't have enough space to accommodate this action, then the rescuer is going to need to be safetyed off by one of two uh, methods, either have a body cord or a dummy attachment point to the rescuer himself, or he can use his pickoff strap and go ahead and rig that in prior to engaging with this component. The pickoff strap can be utilized in the application of an additional safety. It's not a requirement. We're going to talk about variations that you can utilize at this juncture. One of them is to take that pickoff strap, the U goes to you, make sure it's clean and straight. Make sure that the pull point is oriented towards you and then rig the V in to the bottom of the Kootenai. The rescuer can then rely on this pickoff strap as his safety connection point until he hits a, a time over the gorge or the point of his objective where he's ready to descend or be hauled. At that juncture, he could go ahead and unrig this system. There's some complex issues that add to the, to the operation when you utilize this implement. One of them is the load variables between this and this. You can, if you preset this too slackly and don't mind it appropriately prior to loading the system, can end up with this being out of your reach. Because once you load the system, then this can get loaded, but you've gotten to a point where you can't negotiate or adjust the slack or tension on the system. That's one precaution. The other precaution is when it comes time to transfer your load from the pickoff strap onto the system, you're going to need the ability or the strength to be able to cinch yourself up until the load transfers from here to there. So if your rescuer doesn't have the body strength to accommodate that or some type of a step up system, this can at times add more complexity than is necessary. Another option for safeties which should be utilized at all times on the English Reef system is to put paired prusiks on the travel points of the connection point. So we'd utilize our standard prusiks, engage them on both sides, and then attach them into our rigging element. We'll talk about the complications that are associated with this activity as well. So here's the hub of our system, of our English Reeves point, where we're traversing. We talked about the prusik management earlier in the operation. This is a simulated load, but if I were rigged to this as the rescuer, 
my hands would have to be placed just above these prusiks, not on them, but above them. So we need a little more distance here. As the line travels, you could allow one to extend and one not to. This one could freely travel because the rope is passing through the pulley this way and will be minded on its own. This one has to be manually minded so that it doesn't set as the rope progresses. It is good practice to just go ahead and mind both rope, both prusiks. Otherwise, it can become very confusing as to which one you are or aren't minding. The same is true for the opposite direction of travel. When traversing this way, this one would need to be minded. This one will mind itself or just mind both elements. We're going to loosen these up just for demonstration purposes so that they won't set and demonstrate the rope traveling through the system.